Hey, once again, this is Robert from Clean Pool and Spa, and in this video, I'm going to show you the fastest and most effective way of vacuuming your pool. Now, it's fall right now, and as you can see, there's lots of dirt and um, debris on the bottom of the pool, but not to worry, because this is going to be done just within a few minutes. So, let's get started. So, the first thing you do is uh, put the brush on the pole and start with the steps, and just push that out. And then turn the brush sideways and go along the side of the step and do all the steps just like that. Once you get finished with the steps, take the pole and the brush and we're going to do the floor right around the steps and be sure that you're pushing the dirt into the deep end. Now once you're finished with the steps, uh, the next area is we're going to do the walls. Now this is kind of a, an irregular L-shaped pool. Um, it really doesn't matter if you have a pool like this or a round above ground pool, kidney shape, whatever. Uh, your main goal is to push the dirt towards the deep end. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, with now with this pool, I need to be conscious of the angles. So in the shallow end here, I'm going to be pushing the dirt down again towards the deep end. Now when I get on to this wall, what I don't want to do is stand right here and push the dirt this way because all that's going to do is just transfer the dirt from here over to there. What I want to do is start over here and go on about a 45 degree angle and what that's going to do is that's going to push the dirt down towards the deep end and that's what I'm going to do on this side of the wall right here. Okay so I did this wall right here and I started over here and it's the same concept there is the deep end and I just want to go at an angle because I want to be pushing the dirt into the deep end now here's the deep end what you don't want to do is come all the way up to the top right here and get a huge burst of mo momentum and push down and get that dirt um, kicked up in the deep end all right you don't want to do that you just want to go very nicely you want to start here at the top and just in a very slow and controlled manner just come down here and just hold it as well um, because if you brush it down and then pull it back up real quick all you're doing is you're just you're you're bringing the dirt from the bottom to the top and you don't want to do that and then just do the remaining area of the wall so I'm finished with the perimeter of the pool, the wall, and the next thing that we're going to do is uh, uh, the floor. So basically the same concept, uh, you start up here and you just slowly walk it and then you hold it. Once again, because you want to keep that momentum of the water moving towards the deep end and then I'm going to go ahead and do the shallow end in that manner. So the shallow end is finished and as you can see it looks pretty good and if you come over here, I don't know if you can see this or not, um, but what I've done is I've taken all the dirt from the shallow end and now it's over here uh, almost in the deep end. So now what I'm going to do is to pick up the pole and again just use the same technique. I'm going to start, start over here, right at the corner, and just in a slow, controlled motion, just push and hold. Do this area right here. So now I swept the shallow end, and let's come over here, and I swept all of this. And if we walk around here, you can see the difference, um, hopefully you can, in the clarity of the water. This is pretty good, and then when we come over here, it kind of gets kind of hazy and some leaves down there. Uh, not a big deal because what I'm going to do is just allow this uh, to settle to the bottom. To settle to the bottom and now it's time to vacuum. And what you need uh, is a vacuum head, a pole, and your hose. So uh, go ahead and take the, the, uh, the skimmer basket out. Get that in there and put it into the hose on the vacuum head and drop that right down in there. Now, uh, I don't want the hose to kick out 
out towards the pool. So what I do is I hook my foot around here like this, which gives me control of the hose. Go ahead and extend that. And then as I do that, just drop that down in there. Now, once you're down here, what you want to do is feed the hose into the water. until water comes up through there. And then go underneath, don't go over the skimmer. Go under it, put that in the skimmer, and then you're set to vacuum. Uh, now, it's just like vacuuming your carpet, you just simply go back and forth. Now, the important thing is, how fast do you go? Well, I've been doing this for about 15 years, uh, thousands, thousands upon thousands of hours of vacuuming, hundreds of pools, and I found that if you start at the beginning, right here, and just go forward, um, you, go, you go all the way forward. This is about a full extension right here. This should take you about um, 20 seconds for a full extension. And then just turn the vacuum and come back. And again, around 20 seconds to go forward and back because if you go too quickly, you're not going to do a very good job. If you go too slowly, uh, you're just going to be, be here all day. And just simply go back and forth until all the debris is picked up. And as you can see, the leaves and dirt are over here. That's the part that I vacuumed. It's going very, very quickly. Okay, so I'm finished. As you can see, there's the bottom drain. Uh, all the dirt and leaves are off the bottom of the pool. And that is the most effective and efficient way of sweeping and vacuuming your pool. Clean it. Now, total sweep time was about five minutes. Uh, total vacuum time, 10 minutes. Normally, uh, on my pool route, this size pool is about a 20,000 gallon pool. It would take me a good solid 30 minutes to uh, vacuum it and to do it right but doing it this way it cut it down by half so go ahead and try it and let me know what you think so please check out the description box below link to my website cleanpoolandspa.com lots of great information over there like subscribe and comment here as always be safe and happy swimming bye all right there it is again i don't know if you can see it there I got too many screams on that one. That's funny. Yeah. Again, I ain't going on that. <laughs>